So here we go, something that I've actually been looking for for quite a long time and finally I found one that I can sort of afford that actually works. I'm really uh, chuffed about it. So basically what's in front of me is a guitar case and a box. You might have seen this box in the Smem video. It was just a controller box. I actually picked it up and was like, <gasps> but I couldn't find the controller for it. So it kind of um, sent me on a wild goose chase trying to find one and yeah, lo and behold, it's here. This is the Roland DR500, which is a synthesizer, an analog synthesizer, which is controlled by a heavily modified guitar in a Les Paul shape. Hopefully Gibson don't get angry, retrospectively. <laughs> So this piece right here is the controller for the synthesizer. You'll notice there's a lot of knobs. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what all of these do yet. I've literally just got this in. This is like a kind of a, a first look video. And um, hopefully in a month or two after I've got to know what I can do with this and like how I can make it sound like what I want it to sound, then I'll do another video on it. But right now, I'm just gonna have a look at it. Oh, it's pretty funky. Ooh. So I actually picked this up last night at about midnight after playing at XOYO in London. Yeah, I was in a bit of a rush loading out and getting out because I knew this was waiting for me uh, on the way home and I'm really, I'm really chuffed that it's here now. Oh yeah. This is pretty cool. This pickup right up here isn't actually a pickup. It's called an Infinity Sustain. It's basically like an Evo, but for all the strings. So you turn that on, it basically makes the strings just play by themselves. So yeah, as you can see, there is numerous uh, knobs. These are the standard guitar knobs, and then these are just like volumes for the different parts of the synthesizer, which we'll look at later. And a master volume, not actually that sure. Here's the Infinity Sustain, the guitar pickup, and I think this is probably the actual pickup for the um, synthesizer part. A crazy multi-pole connector. God knows why it needs so many, but you know, it actually comes with a cable, which God knows that would absolutely suck to replace. So right now we're looking at the actual synthesizer module that comes with the guitar. This is actually the synthesizer part that makes the synth noises. And yeah, there's a few different sections. There's a poly ensemble section, a bass section, and a solo melody section. From what I heard from the person that I bought this from, I haven't done a massive amount of research, but the solo melody is largely based on the Roland SH-09. But it's all in all, it's pretty funky. I'm not really sure yet what to expect. I have already opened it up and had a look inside, and surprisingly, uh, a lot of um, synthesizers of this era have hardly anything inside, except for a big power supply and maybe a single board. But when I opened this up, I was quite surprised by how much was actually in there. There's actually quite a lot of stuff going on. It looks like it's actually got a six voice analog synthesizer instead of like an organ, it's got a six voice synthesizer, but I may be wrong. Ah, maybe that's six strings, six. So it looks like there's actually uh, voice cards in here that actually are made for each string, maybe. I don't know, I'm purely pulling this out. And then there's a solo one and a bass one looking like they've got the same like thing. Can't wait to turn this on, I tell you. I hope it doesn't pop. Around the back are numerous inputs, including the actual input for the guitar with that crazy multi-pole connector. There's a few different mix outputs. Um, external synthesizer control. Oh, amazing. So without further ado, I'm gonna get this plugged in. I'm pretty damn excited. This is the multi-pole connector. It's very scary, I don't wanna lose that. But basically, from my understanding, there's actually three separate output mix buses on this, and you can kind of select between them on these knobs at the top. My kind of thinking is you can send one to a guitar amp and you send the other to, back in the 70s, a, a keyboard amp or something. So you kind of get the two sounds, the guitars and stuff, and then the synths or whatnot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug one output straight into the recorder, which I'm gonna probably use as the synthesizer output, and then the one for the guitar, I'm actually gonna use this beast, which, um, uh, thanks Johnny for the heads up, but this is the ultimate solid state guitar preamp. Um, Johnny showed me it and it's pretty damn good. It's called the Session Master and it makes everything sound awesome. And I'll plug that straight in to it after that and then hopefully it's gonna sound pretty snazzy, but I may be disappointed. We don't know. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do and it's probably the wisest thing is uh, to turn it on. I haven't actually turned it on yet and I didn't actually test it when I picked it up because I was so excited, which I wouldn't recommend to do, but whatever. Okay, let's uh, just turn this on and see what happens. Please work. Oh. Ah, there's an on button. <laughs> okay, the LFO is working. The power LED isn't working, but pff, whatever. The rest of it, ooh. 
Looks like it is actually getting some signal. There's life. There's not many videos of these up, so I have no idea whether it's going to sound like crap. I've kind of got a suspicion that the guitar part of it might be a bit rubbish, but I'm hoping it's actually going to be a, a surprise. It's got some weight to it. It definitely feels like a, a Les Paul. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but it's actually making some noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record with the recorder. I'm going to find myself a plectrum because for some reason I don't have plectrums anymore, which is rather annoying. They all just disappear. And then, yeah, let's play this thing. <laughs> actually sounds pretty good and and yeah it looks cooler than most other guitars because it's got so many knobs so the great thing is you can control bringing out the different sections on this kind of board over here so I've actually got the on and off buttons and all the volume controls for all of the functions over here so I'm gonna actually turn on the first one which um, I'm gonna let you know first it's not very good it's called poly ensemble and it basically just sounds like a very dodgy distorted version of the actual guitar <laughs> Sounds like a distorted guitar. So the next one we've got is actually the bass. This is coming out of a separate mix bus on the back to the actual guitars. So I can have the guitar going through another effect like this. And then I can add the bass, which actually you can adjust it so it only plays on the top two strings, the top four strings, or all of the strings. Right now I've got it only on the top two strings, so I'm gonna turn it on. And then like you got So you got a bass But then we're gonna turn on the solo melody which I actually just think sounds like a decent uh, bass on top of the bass It just kind of adds a bit more It sounds so like it sounds so 70s. It's painful I'm gonna see if I can play that other melody again and see if it can sound funky. I've added a couple effects on top as well, so. So I've worked out how to do the infinite sustain and it's a lot simpler than you think. You just turn up the sustain knob on the polyphonic ensemble. So uh, yeah, it's up. Now have a listen to this. Wait for it, wait for it.
uh, it seems that it's all a little shaky. What I need to do is I need to go through this and this and kind of make it uh, all uh, kind of nice and pristine because yeah, it's in a little bit, it's a little bit shaky. There's dust everywhere in all of the pot. It's kind of like an Ebo, you know, like that Steve I bloke or something uses and they look all fancy, but it's actually built in to the most coolest looking 1970s guitar I think I've ever seen. I've got to find a foot pedal to work with it and it's just gonna be awesome. I might even take this on tour uh, to Europe because it's actually pretty damn awesome. <laughs> So you can actually plug another synthesizer into the back of this. I'm just gonna quickly try that now. I have no idea whether it's gonna be in tune, but it's cool because you actually have a portamento switch on the guitar for an external synthesizer. I know, it's mental. Now I've plugged the synthesizer into the external synth kind of input. It's also got an audio input from the synthesizer into this, so you can mix it all in with it. However, this is way too loud for it, but you know. <laughs> That's just a little introduction into the Roland GR500. And it's just, it's crazy. It's so cool that I'm actually getting a play on one. This is just insane. But yeah, it's um there's a lot of work that needs to be done to this one, and hopefully I'll have it in fighting form very soon and I'll be playing like some songs with it. But let's see. But yeah. And like I said yesterday, I was playing in London XOYO. I actually shot a video there of the whole set and I'm gonna be mixing it together and cutting it up and actually sharing that as a video very soon. It's 360, woo! Tomorrow I'm playing in Dublin and then I'm playing in Manchester on Sunday and it keeps on going and you never know, by the time the European tour comes around, I might be playing on this. Who knows, but ah, oh, I love it. Anyway, all the audio that you've heard in this is actually available to download and kind of mangle and mash with over on my Patreon, as well as like all of the other audio from all of the other videos and stuff. And if you want to see frequent vlog updates, well, go over there and check it out. And yeah, and needless to say, it kind of uh, helps fund things like this because um, I'm going to be doing a few videos on this and uh, well, I needed to buy it. Because yeah, this is going to be an interesting project. I'm going to try and get the most out of this and see like how far I can take this uh, synthesizer machine. So yeah, anyway, I've been looking at my no computer. Don't forget to subscribe and don't be scared to try it. Woo!